the last video we created waves with geometry nodes and in this video we want to take a closer look at this fake caustics shader. In this still image you can see that the caustics pattern consists of small cells between the bright lines. We can create this pattern with Voronoi textures. I started a new blender project and added a plane with an emission shader. We can keep the render engine Eevee and switch to rendered view. First add a Voronoi texture with a scale 3 and the setting distance to edge. Connect it with the color input of the emission node. It looks not bad, but we must work on the contrast. Add a color ramp and set the position of the white slider to 0.041. The original shader is from Hayden Gray. He used a math node with the operation greater than and a threshold of 0.01 instead of a color ramp. This setup creates sharp edges, but I want smooth edges, so I replace the math node with a color ramp. Instead of increasing the scale for more cells, we can duplicate the Voronoi texture and the color ramp. Set the scale to 8 in the lower Voronoi texture and add a mix RGB node with the operation multiply. Increase the factor to 1. Now let's get rid of the straight lines and sharp corners. In this case, I copied the shader of Hayden Gray. Select one Voronoi and press Ctrl T to create a texture coordinate node and a mapping node. Delete the connection and add a mix RGB node with a method linear light and a factor 1. Connect the output of a mapping node with the first color input. Add a noise texture with a value 8 and detail 1.5. Add a map range node and set the map max to 0.36. The map range node works the same way as the color ramp. Connect it to the lower input of the linear light. Increase the scale of the mapping node to 5 and we will get this pattern. All we need to do now is fine tuning. We will add some variation to brightness before we plug it into the emission shader. Duplicate the multiply node and another noise texture with scale 4 and detail 5. This creates some dark spots in some areas. Add a math node with a method Arcus Tangens 2 and set the Y value to 0.59. When we plug in the math node it decreases some dark spots a little bit. At last I added another color ramp and flipped the sliders. Pull the black slider down until the bright spots disappear. Add another noise texture with scale 20, a last color ramp and a mix RGB node with multiply. Set the black slider to a 40% gray and move it approximately to 0.31. Reduce the factor value in the multiply node to 0.75. In the end, we need an edge shader. Connect the first input of your sand shader in case of a scene of a seabed and the second input with a caustic shader. 